Hey, what is up, guys? Mixoplex here. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the Season 5 cosmetics that just uh, debuted yesterday. We completed the Season Pass in just over 24 hours. I think it was 24 hours and 19 minutes. Uh, half of which, more than half, was done solo. So, let's go ahead and break down and give you guys a full breakthrough of each of the cosmetics and kind of just showcasing all the different things. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So season five introduced a lot of new features, a lot of which I would say a lot of the good cosmetics are actually part of the patch. So as you can see here, we do have level 100, but let's go ahead and show off some of the different things. So we have the creeping cold costume one, the, the rolling dice emote, and we have the sand angel and the flag of ancient gold. So let's go ahead and showcase these off. So if you're a big fan of D&D, &D, these emotes are going to be perfect for you. Now, you actually get, I think was it six different emotes? You get a uh, roll of D6, you can roll a D4, a roll of D8, a 10, a 12, and a 20. These are all free for everyone, and they're kind of intended for RP, or if you are, again, a D&D &D fan, this is perfect to add to your emote bundle. Now, in terms of costumes, we're going to go ahead and throw on the Creeping Cold costume. Now, again, this face mask or the bandana or whatever you want to call it uh, is technically not part of the suit. This is a new beard uh, that is tied to accommodation, uh, which I might actually just go ahead and remove now just to kind of clarify it because I want people to get confused. So there you go. So let's go ahead and go up. This is the first emote or not email but a uh, costume right here and then it does have a nice little emote allowing you to create nice sculpture pretty cool definitely fits the theme of the season uh but definitely not a bad one um i would say two and three are per personally my best but let's go ahead and get into it uh we also have uh, this up here and then we'll go grab the sand angel emote which i have yet to actually check out uh but there is a couple of different uh, sales here that which we're going to be able to showcase today. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that on, and there it is. Nothing crazy. It's like just like a little triangle. Nothing, nothing too fancy, but definitely cool. Uh, regardless, now let's go ahead and check out that email. Which again, I have not actually looked at this. Uh, so we go here, Sand Angel. Let's go ahead and throw this on Cheeky Wave instead, and let's test out this email. kind of cool i mean it's it's obviously what it is it's creating an angel you know intended for the sand okay pretty cool not a bad emote all right so that is the first 10 rewards uh we got the dice we have the costume we have the emotes and we have the top five so let's go to 10, 11 through 20 here and showcase what we can showcase off here so we're gonna have the uh aurora flag top flag we're gonna have the hull we're gonna show off the sales of ancient gold the new mistletoe fishing rod and the bell brigade hook so again in the spirit of things let's go ahead and switch off our costume let's go do this real quick uh unfortunately we're gonna have to take off all these cosmetics uh but let's go ahead and start putting these on now my bell brigade uh bell brigade right there um let's do the aurora top flag and we'll do the sails in the aurora hull now, I will say uh, the Aurora stuff is kind of, it's definitely, if you enjoy that kind of look, uh, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if I personally will use the wheel, and you'll see in just a little bit as to why. But let's go ahead and throw on the hull very quickly. And we're going to go on and throw on sails, the sails of ancient gold. Let's go ahead and turn the sails real quickly. And I think that is it for this current section. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, and the fishing rod. So here we have the sails. Uh, the center piece definitely has a t little bit of a tint to it. Uh, definitely not bad. Uh, now the hull is definitely clean. Uh, we're going to take a look at it from the front. 
has a nice little gradient kind of goes through the, every color i'm assuming this is going to look amazing on galleons uh, but on a sloop it's not looking too shabby uh, the hull inside or in the interior is still pretty good still usable and the top flag as well definitely gorgeous and then we have the fishing rod right here definitely a good one there's a few fishing rods in the game that have a very distinct look uh, this is definitely one of them and definitely a must grab in my opinion just because this stuff usually only comes out once a year so make sure if there's anything here that you want to snag up make sure you get them all right and that is it for uh 11 through 20 so i think we've grabbed everything here right yep okay so we're gonna go through 21 through 30. now through this we start to unlock some of the different ship cosmetics including the aurora capstan the aurora wheel the makeup of ancient gold uh, the Bell Brigade jacket and the Bell Brigade hat, which is absolutely atrocious, but it, it is well worth the memes. So let's go ahead and change our face paint to the makeup of ancient gold. Let's go ahead and throw on the hats and then the jacket as well. Actually, if we're not going to do this one, actually, no, we'll showcase uh, a few beards off actually. Uh, what else do we have here? All right, the Aurora Capstan and the wheel. Okay. All right, to kind of spice things, uh, go ahead and start things off. We have here the Aurora Capstan. Now, this is clearly a really nice Capstan. It's very subtle, has that theme of you know, of Christmas, and just, I mean, you got a little bit of those little, you know, bells just kind of around it. A nice Aurora glow. Nothing too crazy. Definitely looks really good. And then you have the wheel now the wheel unfortunately this effect this aurora effect does uh kind of hinder your uh field of view uh especially at nighttime it, it's not a bad wheel but it does get old um this effect also if you are familiar with the ghost tankard and stuff like that will project the same effect actually so it's actually not too bad uh but it i've had a lot of viewers that were just not enjoying it um so i ended up switching it mid uh about midstream but it's definitely not a bad one. But again, it's all cosmetics are personal taste and personal flavor. So if you like them, use them. If you don't, you don't have to. But this is definitely has an added effect, which uh, you may or may not like. So you can see it a little bit right now. And this is, it just goes. So not a bad one, but uh, that is definitely the gripe with it right now. All right. And now we have the jacket and the ridiculous hat this hat is absolutely just extra as hell uh kind of like it <laughs> it's good for the memes i mean if you want to if you want to flex some people with a giant hat there you go uh the jacket is actually kind of clean i'm a big fan of it regardless of it being christmas themed this is something i may even wear or figure out an outfit for uh going forward but the one downside of this tier uh, i would say is probably the makeup it just looks terrible there's no there's nothing there you know what I mean? Uh, it's just yellow. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. Even with the gold curse, the gold curse, unfortunately, has a different color to it. So it just doesn't match, unfortunately. But there you go. That is the next tier of the season pass. Oh, no, not bad. But the uh, unfortunately, the makeup is kind of a letdown. Uh, so let's go ahead and proceed to 31 through 40. So we have the Aurora sales, which are basic level, as well as the aurora figurehead also basic these are the non uh collector versions as well so let's go ahead and showcase off the brigade uh, dr uh pants real quick uh, while well, we got our outfit on i actually have not checked these out stream was trying to get them to get oh my god these are amazing well, let's take our jacket off real quick and we'll really see these for what they are those are kind of cool they're unique those are actually really cool we can we could think of an outfit with those uh 100 but again we're gonna go ahead and throw everything on at once not bad actually those are a very unique color and definitely uh very bright but let's go ahead and throw on all the extra stuff real quick all right what else do we have here we have uh the dress and the scars okay so or not the scars but the tattoos so let's go ahead and showcase these off very quickly uh let's take these off so actually just show it off in here because a lot of you since it strips us um this is actually not a bad tattoo so i have personally have not enjoyed 
any of the tattoo sets they've been uh, including nor the scars they've been adding scars and tattoos almost every plunder pass and almost all of them have been pretty bad uh, in my opinion but this one is not too bad it has a nice chest piece you know there's a little bit of a sleeve action going on uh, the back I'm not too much of a fan of but the chest piece is pretty cool it, yeah just it looks good it looks it's not too bad it's not the worst uh, the back could have used a little bit more work but it does fit the theme of an ancient gold tattoo so uh, again could have been a lot worse but it's actually uh, it's definitely usable all right let's go ahead and throw on the bell brigade dress and showcase this off real quickly as it appears to be getting nighttime already so there you go this is the bell brigade dress i gotta say this is actually not a bad dress uh definitely something i would say is well worth grabbing uh it's not bad i mean i think i, I kind of like it i mean i don't wear dresses in sea of thieves but if i were this isn't a bad one and it definitely fits this whole theme of the month uh of christmas definitely not a bad one though definitely uh worth uh copping that so let's go ahead and throw on the jacket so this isn't a little, a little bit not uh not too weird i guess we have the non-collector version of the sails these are actually very pretty um these little bits and pieces do glow at night not but not like a, an actual glow but it's a very subtle and it's definitely meant to stand out and then we have the non-collector's figurehead here which is pretty freaking cool All in all, this is a pretty decent ship set. Uh, I kind of wish you'll see a little bit uh, further down the line. I, the collector's versions are very underwhelming. Uh, I almost think the, the regular versions look better, but uh, I digress. Uh, I think that is it for this tier uh, 31 through 40. So let's go ahead and check out 41 through 50. Uh, now, this is probably where everyone gets very excited. A lot of people like the tankard. A lot of people like the lantern. So let's go ahead and start looking at the different hairstyles to kind of get things out. And we also need to put on a peg leg. All right, so let's go ahead and take off the hat here uh, just to kind of look at hairstyles. All right, so Bell Brigade streaked hair. That is pretty cool. Not bad at all. That's actually kind of nice. Um, again, I don't put hair on my character. It's been a thing since forever. Uh, you know, I'm bald, so I kind of got to rip that bald lifestyle. But these are not bad. Wow. That tied hair, that's a bit extra, but I could see my partner probably enjoying those quite a bit. These are actually not bad uh, hairstyles, but again, for me, it feels very weird to ever, ever have hair on my character. So uh, maybe at one point we may do it, but uh, for the sake of like, I guess, screenshots or something like that, but I'm just not a fan of having, you know, <laughs> hair on my character, unless we're doing screenies. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at... Here we have the, oh man, the lighting is so bad right now. It sucks that we barely had any of the daylight. So let's go and take a look at the Bell Brigade peg leg. Again, not bad. Uh, I, have, I don't really use peg legs, but this one is cool because it kind of hooks. So it definitely looks like it's meant to replace your foot in a way. Uh, I, again, it goes with the pants. It's definitely a theme and definitely well worth uh, throwing on, I think. And I think that is it for this tier. Let's take a look real fast. Uh, oh, now we have the the mug and we have the globe. So this is the level 50 globe. I would say this is probably the one of the most hyped pieces for the entire patch. This is something people have been wanting for a very long time. I, unfortunately, since we are on a fresh boat, I don't have all the colors. But I can tell you every color looks good with this. I haven't checked out blue or purple yet, but this lantern is top tier and if you hold it it definitely is a little bit brighter and the more you move so the good thing about this is look if you don't move it's just subtle just like a snow globe it's just subtle it's calm but if you start running around and jumping it spins up and amplifies as does everything else in the snow globe tell me that's not cool dude absolutely it's the subtle details uh, that really add on to everything. And then here we have the mug. Delicious. Which, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, check out your advanced GG. Link is down in the uh, info section below. Great product, but I digress. But pretty cool. That's a cool little e emo, but this isn't what we're showcasing. We're showcasing off the tankard. Um, I personally don't like this one um, because, uh, you know, my branding and everything is based around 
uh, red and stuff like that. If I was going to personally use this, I'd probably use the Crimson Crypt as it definitely is more gothic. It definitely has red on it. Uh, and personally, it's just a, a preference. But definitely not a bad one overall. Uh, if you have always wanted Merrick's Tinkered, which actually a few people have. And this is it in first person as well. All right, so that is it for 40 through 50. And now we're going to go ahead and check out 51 through 60. Uh, now you get it. I will say real quick, when I was done with the past, we had very little doubloons. All the, or not doubloons, but the uh, ancient, uh, the, was it ancient coins or whatever? These are, I had about maybe one to 200. So we've made about 1,200, I think, in total. I'm not sure what the actual amount is. Uh, maybe one of you guys in the comments uh, can let me know exactly how many we get. Uh, but it is actually, you come up net positive with it. And uh, I think next season, uh, you should be able to buy your own season uh, free of charge, which I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they probably expect. So the next pass might not be that great just because they know that. But you get quite a bit of ancient coin this time around, as well as the balloons. All right. So for 50 through 60, uh, we have the Bell Brigade boots. And we have the Aurora Cannons and the Winter's Fire Wheel. All right, so let's go ahead and show off the boots now just to kind of get these out of the way. Uh, man, I wish there was different lighting down below, but here you go. Uh, let's go ahead and take off the peg legs so you guys can get full effect. I mean, I don't know how many people wear peg legs anymore, uh, so I apologize if you do. But these are the boots in all their glory. Uh, it's definitely a fit. It's very unique. I feel like we could weave this into a clothing set for the memes. Uh, but if again, if you're looking to support the whole Christmas set, definitely this is a piece that you need to throw on. It goes perfectly and the, the boots just point up. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, but uh, definitely worth checking out and maybe even using for a ship or uh, for a clothing set. And OK, so now we're going into the cannons, which unfortunately these are not useful at all. Um, you'll see in just a minute here. Uh, but look, before we switch up, this is the full Aurora set. You got the cannons, you got the figurehead, you got the cap stand, and here's that glow effect I was telling you about the wheel. This is a consistent thing that you'll have to deal with. So if this is this little effect uh, you don't like, you're probably not going to want to use this wheel. But these cannons, unfortunately, are very, um, they're not too bad, but they decided to add this very annoying. <sighs> I'll have to test these out. Um, and see if they're any good. The, the cannons themselves are actually not that bad. Uh, they're actually pretty decent, but having this extra piece right here, it just, I don't know. I'm just not sure. Uh, but it has a cool, I mean, I mean, take a look at it. I mean, it's very flavorful to again, this season and is it basically in the sled. So like, it looks cool and definitely again, fits the theme. I just, there's like looks and there's functionality. I just don't know if these are functional. Um, so again, I can't comment on these personally as I didn't even test them. Uh, once I saw this first bit, yeah, I was, I immediately said no. So, uh, but let's go ahead and switch up the wheel. So this is actually my favorite wheel. They had so much potential with this wheel. Uh, as you can see, it's called the winter's fire wheel. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, it needs a little bit of tweaking, but, uh, you'll see in just a moment here, but there's candles, man on every part of this and it is absolutely gorgeous this the crappy thing is though when you go first person you don't even get to see them so you have to look straight down to even see the candles this is where i feel like if they put the candles just above the wheel itself so you can see the lamp like the candles and even like maybe reduce the dim on them just a tad bit this would have been a gorgeous wheel but um but definitely it's a definitely a good wheel i, I almost want to make a ship set based off of this but definitely gorgeous looks good uh it's not actually so glowy at night uh like you know like the the previous cap stand this is very subtle very uh very very dim so it's not so powerful that people can just see it and you know they can almost use it to shoot you basically uh, the lanterns you know almost non-existent actually it's more for looks all right so i think that is it for that uh, let's take a look here just to... Oh, I also need to go show off this second costume real quick before we get into anything else. My apologies, guys. I'm a little bit of, a, you know, brain fried. But this is the second one. This one, I am going to throw on the, the, the bandana or the blade mask because it goes perfectly with it. So let's go ahead and do our ice sculpture emote. 
Tell me that doesn't look cool. That mask just makes everything pretty cool, though. Uh, it's a little bit extra. has a little bit more detail. Um, yeah, everything looks actually a lot better uh, on two. And then on three is like the final form, I guess, uh, of the cosmetic. Let's go ahead and re remove the beard, though. All right. So let's go ahead and switch on to the next tier. We're uh, 60 through 70 here now. So uh, we're getting into the final stuff of the ship cosmetics, including the cannon flare. So um, for those who don't know, I'm very opinionated of uh, cannon flares and now they have to function no matter what. So they started redesigning cannon flares to be almost in a way pay to win in some cases. Uh, and I figured this one might be one of the same. Unfortunately, this effect is actually super annoying during combat. It looks so let's actually switch these cans because I don't think anyone in their right mind would actually use these. Uh, let's go to go to default. So this during nighttime is actually very strong of an effect. I figured it would be decent during the day. It's not bad during the day, but even at peak hours, it's just not useful. And then at night it gets worse because that effect will linger. So what it does is when you shoot that effect persists and because it's colored it it, it basically kind of blinds your shot a little bit like you can't recorrect right away again you might need to test this out for yourself but uh i tested it out for a couple of hours last night as we were doing this whole grind and i just i couldn't get behind it uh, unfortunately i was really kind of turned off on the idea of ever actually using it uh which sucks because i think it it, it could have been pretty good and uh, something people had access to, but unfortunately, um, it's personally, I don't think it's that good. So uh, we do have a think a shirt here as well. This shirt, I don't think I got actually. I noticed this yesterday, unless I am missing something. We never got this shirt. So snug scarf jacket. Oh, it's a jacket. Okay. I was about to say. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so maybe we throw on some midnight blood. Yo, all right, hold on, hold on. We go ahead and throw these on, maybe. Maybe just take our shoes off for now to check this out. Dude, this is actually sick. Wait, what? Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So the pants are part of the commendation, but this is the the new jacket. This is actually not bad. I, I can get behind. This is kind of cool. I like this stuff. Uh, I wish we'd see more stuff like this, actually. Something different, but like something that's still, again, functional. Um, again, fits the theme with the scarf. Definitely cool. Again, the mask and the pants are uh, tied to something else not related to the season uh, season pass. But still, very cool regardless. That's actually not bad. I haven't taken a look at that because I thought it was a shirt and I didn't think we had it. But that is uh, pretty cool. Um, so we covered uh, everything. Let's go ahead and check out the gloves real quick. It is just shame about the can about the cannon flares, but uh, yeah, these gloves are kind of ugly. Yeah, these are pretty ugly. But again, if you're trying to go for the whole set, it's definitely uh, not a bad one. Let's take a look at these real quick. Ah, uh, they're, they're a bit extra. All right, so let's take a look at the next section. Uh, we're at 70 through 80. So now we're starting to get into the final form of stuff. We got the Bell Brigade shirt. We've got the Bell Brigade belt. And we have the Collector's Aurora figurehead. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Let's take this jacket off. This jacket, we're going to have to make an outfit based off of this, actually. So um, let's take that off. Let's take this off. Um, let's put on this shirt. Not bad. Okay, so if you didn't want to wear the jacket, they're definitely uh, allowing you to just do a non version of that. That is, man, these gloves are just so much, though. But if you didn't want to, oh, my God. If you didn't want to do that, here, let's just put on our default beard for now. All right, let's go ahead and show this off real quick. This is not a bad looking set, so. If you didn't want to wear the jacket or the dress, there's definitely an option for you if you want to wear uh, pants and a shirt and just the boots. Oh, we need to wear the belt, actually. My mistake. I figured, I was like, yeah, I figured we we're missing something here. All right, let's go to the belts. I haven't actually looked at this either. Oh, that is pretty cool. 
that is not bad at all so let's go ahead and take a look at this without it and this is with it it gives you a little bit of a sash with a little bit of a oh, that's actually cool man and a little bit of a pouch that's actually kind of neat let's go ahead and take a look at it again uh in the sun here not bad full 360 view i kind of like it it's not extra in the point where it's like unusable but this is not bad and it has a little bell on it as well on the pouch again very cool and then we're gonna go ahead and throw on the collector's figurehead um this is where it's kind of disappointing uh unfortunately it, it's not bad um but this figurehead does not glow unfortunately um uh, but the way it is designed it has a subtle glow to it uh but there's no aurora anything on this at all there's no moving effects there's nothing unfortunately um it's very subtle very almost non-detectable um you can see it i think just a little bit i think it may have an effect but it's this static as far as i know it's a static figurehead with no effects which uh kind of sucks all right so let's go ahead and go to the next one all right so we are on 81 through 90 now we're getting to the final tiers uh, we got literally one more to go so we got the bell brigade beard the eye patch and the aurora collector sales these aren't too shabby let's go ahead and throw these on real quick let's get the beard i haven't actually looked at this beard yet that is, i mean i don't think i would use it personally but uh again cosmetics are based on the user let me go ahead and throw on the eye patch as well uh you know it's not like uh, interesting i guess Uh, I mean, I personally would probably never use this beard nor the eye patch, but again, if you're going for a theme, theme look for the month of Christmas or uh, the month of December to celebrate Christmas. Again, they're giving us fully themed cosmetics to do so. And again, awesome. I'm, I've always wanted a good Christmas outfit and I'm glad that we're getting something because this is the month of giving. This is a month that I tend to not be so PVP hungry and I tend to just help out a bunch of players with either loot or whatever and it would be cool to be able to do this and they're actually allowing us to do this with this outfit and here you have the aurora sails to go with the whole set not bad um again there is no glow here they're very subtle so they're a little bit brighter so you can see it at nighttime uh but none of this glows there's no anything uh, just like the figurehead it's it's just very clever design but none of this has got a crazy extra glow on it which is kind of unfortunate but Again, I don't know what their design philosophy was behind that, so it is what it is. All right, so for the final tier, 91 through 100, we have the Winter's Fire Compass. We have this Scar of Ancient Gold, Grimm's Jacket, and then we have the Cold Costume 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at the compass. I believe I do have this equipped now. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the white oak kind of look to it. Definitely, I love yeah this i love white oak i love that kind of stuff i it's a personal thing uh definitely a good a good look too unfortunately this yellow is a little bit hard to see during the day let me see if the sun comes out it's kind of hard to read during the day uh but all you gotta do is just kind of bring it up to you but definitely a good one to use at nighttime uh but let's go ahead and show off a few different things here uh so this is costume three so let me go ahead and take all these off real quick because we are going to showcase off the jacket in a moment here so this is the final form the very final form of the costume and you almost have like a glass look so i personally haven't seen this yet so this is kind of cool this is a first for me whoa dude that look is insane look at the look at the look of that that is you have like a hollowed core, like your your innards have been ripped apart. That is just cool, dude. That is just so freaking neat. Definitely leaves room for a beard if you want to do so. Uh, again, you can use the bandana as it is considered a beard, but this is freaking beautiful, dude. It's like a glass form. This is sick. And the eyes are colored or tinted. Wow, this is actually really cool. Uh, so I, let me i'm pretty sure beards do work with this um so there is some patches or some costumes they do add tend to have an issue with beards this is none this definitely isn't one of them this is pretty cool dude wow this is actually beautiful this is a pretty cool looking set man i'm not gonna lie I, it's very it's got a shine to it um i, I feel like that's gonna be a turn off for some people but 
And unfortunately, this blue, actually, this blue does kind of go with it, actually. I love this one, but I wish there was a mustache that, go, uh, that went with it. But this is pretty cool regardless. I actually like this legendary bound beard. This actually fits it quite well. It's a little bit extra again, but mm, yeah, I don't know. We might have to play with this one day. But uh, let's go ahead and take this off. Let me see. What else do we have here? Uh, we have the compass. Now we have the scar. Okay, so the scar we're going to have to showcase. So this, this is where they kind of lose me a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, scars just haven't been good. We've had so many of these being added. Almost every other event, every other season, there's a new freaking scar. And most of them personally, at least to me, are kind of just bad. They're just they're either too extra or they just don't fit a scar, what a scar should be. Like Forsaken Ashes scar to me is a perfect thing. You got the facial scar, you've got what it looks like an actual scar. Here is Scar of Ancient Gold. It puts rings on your hand. There's a couple of rings on your shoulder. And that is it, uh, unfortunately. It's not really a scar i don't know i'm not a big fan i think this is very underwhelming uh almost disappointing in some ways but yeah again i digress this is it's just a disappointment to be fair uh, I, I figured it could have been a lot better but as y'all know this is something i personally have always wanted i wanted a fire lord's jacket i've wanted this for a very long time i've wanted this since ashen winds became a thing and the fire lords themselves who grace us with their presence and were easy events. I've been soloing these forever. And I've always wanted a jacket. And here we go. Grimm's jacket right here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on a beard. And just to give it the kind of full effect here. Uh, for someone of, you know. Let's go ahead and throw on some cosmetics. So, I haven't played with this set yet. Uh, unfortunately. We literally just got this. I called stream and that was it. But, let's go ahead and throw on a few different things. Uh, because there is a green lucky hand does kind of go and fit the theme a little bit um let's go ahead and throw these on we got some gloves i love these gloves personally now for the shirt uh you can do a few different things here um you can do wicked web you could do uh, a full dawn hunter if you want to kind of go and match with the gloves there's definitely a few options here again i haven't messed with this set just yet uh, but this man, this is a beautiful jacket. Let's see if we can just throw on some cosmetics. Uh, let's go and throw on the party boat crown and kind of show how kind of cool we are. And we got the bandana, but we're not going to use this for now. We're just going to use our simple beard here. All right. So here is Grimm's jacket. This is definitely, I think probably one of the cooler emotes, or not emotes, but, uh, jackets in the game. This is definitely a status symbol, uh, for, I think a lot of people, this is, this just looks cool and the shoulder pads look just beefy um again it's a it's definitely a personal thing this is a, i always wanted one of the jackets um, i know a lot of people were very underwhelmed by this but uh again i think personally that this set looks great uh and it, it it's it's cool i personally love it uh but i'm sure there's gonna be people who are like well why didn't we just get another curse etc cetera, etc cetera. but regardless this is a cool uh option optional thing that you can wear and maybe weave a couple of cosmetic sets into uh but again the hat is not part of it uh, as well and the lucky hand is part of a previous season uh as well so there you guys have it that is the season five showcase of all the new cosmetics uh through the season we might be doing another video as well once we unlock all the cosmetics or the midnight blade set and uh so, yeah try to discover everything that we haven't found out in season five thank you guys for anybody that did tune in to our long stream again it was over a 24 hour stream we got this done in one night and i had a hell of a lot of fun this is definitely a great patch in terms of features which we will make into another video this is probably one of my favorite patches yet uh not because of the features but the quality of life changes that have come into the game that affect me on the day to day so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, guys, consider subscribing to the channel for more Sea of Thieves uh, videos, highlights, guides, etc. And other content like this. And I'd much appreciate if you guys join us on our Twitch as well. And join the Cringe family as we play Sea of Thieves, talk, talk Sea of Thieves, and just have a good time and have good vibes. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.